Hi, well I've just done two basic uh, demonstrations of, of, of basic uh, tree painting and and scraping with a with a plastic card. So it's just putting it together and to be honest I, I never really know what I'm going to do when I do it. I start off with, with one idea like a mountain and it ends up as a, as a, a, a tree picture. I paint a tree and it ends up as a mountain and then that sort of dictates the, the way the video goes and I think also that the stage I, well, I'm going to be boasting but, but I'm, I, I can make these things up to a limited extent, I, I've, I've got my range and I stay well within it but, but I, I'm free from photographs largely uh, I, I like to work for my own sketches, but uh, photographs. Well, when you look at a photograph, it's all it's all there, and you think, oh, how, how can I put all that in? But of course, you can't, and you don't. You have to be selective. But when you make things up, you can paint what you want to paint as you go along. Um, so I'm going to wet this uh, Fabriano paper. This is 130 pound weight, so my usual. And I'll just wet it with the uh, the two inch Ron Ranson Hake, which I these brushes I've been using on and off for, for years, and they're they're lovely. They can do so much. But I'm also getting um, falling in love with the mop brushes, and I'm not that experienced with painting them, painting with them. But I've just bought this one. This is a, a triple O. Uh, it's a triple O, it says uh, 3, 340, I can't quite read that. Oh yes it does, 3 stroke O, 3 O's. Uh, highest quality pure squirrel, mop brush, Pro Art Renaissance squirrel, lovely, lovely brush. It holds a lot of paint, you wouldn't think so, this tiny little brush. But it's got a gorgeous point to it. Uh, right, so I'll, I'll put a sky. I'm using the Cotman palette, which is uh, cadmium yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red. What have I got on there? Ultramarine, uh, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber, paints grey, and, and burnt sienna. I might have a bit of. I don't know what that is. It's a nice bit of paper on it. I'm your alizarin crimson, that's why. Not picking up any paint. Oh well, there you go. Uh, right, I'll uh, put a, a wash of uh, raw sienna over it. And I'm thinking of a of sort of a woodland where I can uh, do the scraping and show the distant trees that I painted on the last demonstration on how on tips on how I paint trees. My, my trees are never botanical specimens, I have to say. So we'll just follow the brush really, we'll just see what, what happens. See where we go. Well I've I've changed the camera angle, this is the third one, so I don't know how you you're finding it. It's uh, a bit difficult working from this corner. Right, so anyway, we'll put a bit of a blue sky in there. My ultramarine, nice ultramarine, nice bit of light red. Let's start with a cloud. Get a good bit of direction in this sky. Bit of red. Well, that's quite interesting, isn't it? Very good sombre start. I won't get too carried away with this. Okay, it's a sky. And we'll, uh, I'll dry it off, so take your headphones off. This will fix. Uh, what 
some wires here. Okay. Sorry guys, I've got my little my old phone being charged. Now. Right, it's not bone dry. Now I'm going to dispense with the hake for a moment and I'm going to go into the put a little mop. Let's see what we can do with that. Um, I'll paint on paint in some background trees. Just try to live some air some air holes. More blue. This all dries lighter than when you put it on, so you have to allow for that. Okay, so now we'll, we'll warm up a bit in the front of that. So a bit of a bit of my favourite mix: the blue and sienna. Just a bit amazing. That, that oh, so much water. Great, great little brush, really, really chuffed with this. That's an English expression, or British expression. Chuffed, delighted. So we'll uh, put in a bit of, uh, bit of greenery. at the moment. I got a bit of bit of nice colour on the top of that. Little brush. Who would have thought? This little brush can do so much. Right. Okay. And well, spent all that money on the big mops, and I'm having some. Real, real good fun with um, a bit darker in there. So I've not used any paints grey. I'm just washing in with get a bit of that hair. Do some interesting uh, marks with that. Okay, so the basic river here, I'm going to just carry that blue in there, but, but very faint, faint bit here. Okay, so we'll come down with a bit of, I'll, I'll make the other side diff, a bit different if I can. A little bit of burnt umber, a bit of red. That's what makes her sort of sienna. Uh, oh, let's put in a bit of a yellow background first. Okay, right now we're going with the heavier stuff. Blue, brown, sorry, brown umbers. Put blue in there, I think. I 
don't want the colours all the same, but it's difficult to not to really. But. So we're, we're trying to make an art rather than a copy of anything. We're trying to make pleasant, uh, pleasing to the eye. More harder, more, a bit warmer in the form in there. Improvising with watercolour, making it up as you go along. Simple shapes. Keep it simple, stupid, kiss. Okay. Oh, well, uh, get a bit of a right. Let's come down with a bit of bit of sienna. Bit of green. Palette grey. Doing some rocks in a minute. I want some darks in there too. So usual. Very delicate brush. Hey, look at that. Right. I'm going to use a going to use a another mop. So let's get some nice rocky colours. Well, all the brown, all the, just a mix of everything really. It's wet, but I'm going to scrape out of this. Use the plastic card in a moment. Interesting, all these different brushes. Let's get the card and we'll start lifting out. So if I'm masking you, I hope I'm not. But let's get the card on there, scrape off the high spots, or the high spots of the. Ah, that won't lift, that's a bit dry. Scraping the light side. I can, always, I can always lift that out with a bit of tissue. So, a bit of clean tissue. And we'll just, just soften it a bit, press it a bit. That's it, that's better. That's catching the light, but it doesn't really show it. I... Okay, well that, that that's okay. We, um, we can put a little bit of shadow back in in there. A bit more definition, so we'll put a bit, bit of a warm shadow there. Darker in there, I think. 
Okay, stretch the paper. Nice and flat. And now we'll put in some, some bigger trees. I'll use this little brush as well. I'll just take my old little squirrel out. Okay, so the autumn colours. Everybody loves autumn, don't they? Because of all the lovely reds. It's because the, the reds are warm, lovely warm. Oh, let's just get something in here. Using the technique that I, I demonstrated today, uh, today, I'm going to put in some darker, shadowy stuff. Okay, and lighter on this side, so just catching some light coming from, from there. But I want some shadow in. That dark. Just using blue and red and a bit of sienna. Okay, let's uh, get, bring this one over here a little bit. Yeah, a bit of yellow around the edges. It's got this whole video synchronous, this brush with that. Look, it just, just holds so much water. those air holes back. Got to remember those. Alright, okay, that's uh, that's okay. Let's get that straightened up a little bit along there. I haven't used any Payne's grey. Not saying I won't, but let's put in some I'm waiting for that, and that's almost dry, but let's uh, get in a bit of, bit of trunk. Very sort of hit and miss, very impressionist. Use some blue. Okay, I don't want to do too much of that. How do I do it? Okay, let me do it. Let me know if. Um, if any of this is masking what I'm doing, I want you to be able to see it. And my new, I'm also do, doing this in high definition because now I've got up the uh, anti on my internet connection. I, I'm getting a sort of super fast fiber optic. Well, this is faster than what I had. The videos are taking much less time to upload to YouTube. Four, five, six minutes. They're taking over an hour, some of them. Especially if they're in high definition. A lot of information, but it seems to be working very well. Okay, let's do that. Now let's see what we can do in here. Lovely little brush, oh, I love it. Look at these, it's 
this is this finer than a rigger. Well, but a number three rigger anyway. Remember some branches come down. But you've got to be careful that you, you don't, uh, you know, something like that. Oh, lovely. Okay, now, not a lot. Oh, I just want to just put some detail in there. This paint is absolutely gorgeous and juicy. Oh, it's just this wonderful brush. A little bit of yellow in there. Just little bits of flourish. Come to the foreground to get warmer. More detail here and there. Well, you'll be going out and buying this little brush. Right, so I'll put a bit on there, on the top there. Just some like a Scrubby brush, brush, well, the brush as in undergrowth. Just, just adding impressions of detail of things going on. Oh, just texture. Nice and warm. Hmm. Smack it a bit there. That's just... I want to dry that now, and I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to do some bit of reflection and a bit of water coming down if I can. So headphones off or mutual sound. So we're absolutely just making this up as we go along, based on experience. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to do anything too dramatic. I'm, uh, I'm just, I need to, the space to do a bit of a, bit of that across there. A bit of light red and a bit of, they used to call this light red, but it's not that light. It's very, this is a Cotman, these are all Cotman colours. I think that's an artist quality, the yellow. But this is okay. Right, that's uh, uh, darker. Put some bit of a bit of the reflection in here. A darker. Too much water on there. This is where we're in danger of overkill. Let's put those. in there. Oh, I don't know if that looks much. 
Much like a... Probably look all right on the camera. Let's put a couple of couple of these things in. Right, uh, little little man, I think. Bit of bit of uh, bit of um, go and see how. Put him in here, I think. Put his cheese on. They give scales for it. So they're large trees, small man. So yeah, probably it could be a little bit bigger, so I'll just make it at least a touch stronger. Put a bit of a shadow in. Put another one in, I quite like him. One of my better ones. Can't do any better than that. But for the moment, let's just put a signature on it and see what you think. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's uh, put it in a mount. I don't know how I'm going to show you this. Oh, by the way. Okay, let's uh, move my waste paper basket. Do that there and face the camera. Wind you down, rather than wind you up. Now, can you see that? I can't uh, see because the, 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 the screen on the camera is against the light, and it's on the other side of the camera, so what I'm used to. Oh, yeah, that'll do. It's just come out a little bit more. Whoops. Back to the front. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, any questions, ask. Uh, not convinced about my water, but, but hey, I'm, I'm making it up. I'm not copying anything. But there's a bit of dry brush here to, just to try to show a bit of uh, more, more broken water rather than flowing water. And that, just a bit of calm there, reflecting the sky. But anyway, see how you get on with that. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.